Very nice. Tell us something about you that maybe many of us don't know. <laughs> 15 years of preaching, you've heard a lot. Um, so, well, when I was seven years old, I, my family and I crossed the Atlantic Ocean to go to, we lived in, uh, in Switzerland for a year, and um, my, we, we crossed on the uh, SS France, which was then the fastest ship in the world. And it was very new, and we, we went across, and we, 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 all four of us, my brother and my parents and I were in this cabin, uh, U-232 was the cabin number, I can still remember. And uh, I, I, we were talking about this many years later, this is a few years ago, and I said something about how amazing it was that my brother had fallen out of the top bunk while he was asleep and hadn't woken up. And all three of the rest of the members of my family said, that wasn't him, that was you. <laughs> so I had fallen on the top bunk, landed on the floor, and didn't wake up. But if, if you see any deficiencies in me, you can blame that. That explains a lot. <laughs> what did you say? That explains a lot. I won't tell you who said that, I just know <laughs> From the back middle table. Um, looking back at the previous year in our church that we've just completed, what are you most proud of? I, I think that the process that led to the leasing of the Family Life Center to the Community Life Collaborative was an amazing process. And I am, I just, am, I look back at that and I think what a, how, what a wonderful way that unfolded. Uh, we started this process almost a year ago and we didn't have any idea where it would end up. And I realized fairly early on in the process that, that more important even than the specific solution of where we arrived, what was really important to me, what really mattered to me was that we be the church in the process, that we, we listen to each other and talk to each other and try to find com common ground. And then, so then we had this uh, opportunity for two task forces that had been working on the issue from very different angles and they came together and were able to, to talk that through and come to a kind of a joint sense of how to move forward. Martine's leadership in that was just really key. It was, uh, and then they brought this recommendation to the council, and the council also uh, came to a shared sense of how to move forward. And then we came into the church uh, annual meeting a couple of weeks ago, and there was uh, uh, there were all kinds of angles on that, and the conversation was really civil and respectful. There wasn't the kind of toxicity that you can have in lots of places, uh, and and there were. There were certainly, it was still a divided vote, but there was a sense, I think, of, of, of unanimity, and uh, not unanimity, but kind of unity and of moving forward in that. And I th the process worked out, I just think, as well as it could, and I, I really was thrilled with that. 